All right, here we go. Mike, I'm out here. What's up with everyone? I got heck of bags of shoes. I don't know how long y'all been watching my channel. If you're just checking in or if you've been watching for years, my channel started off pretty much with shoes, selling stuff on eBay. And I used YouTube to host the videos so I could put the video links in the eBay account so people could see the stuff. That was before you could add stuff like that. Ahead of its time, I guess. Anyway, I got a heck of bags of shoes. I've had them for years. There's some more over there. There's even more underneath. I don't know how much of this video people are seeing, but yeah, they're underneath everywhere. Because as a kid, this is how I started getting my Jordans. I know these LeBrons, but I'm saying this is how I got my shoes back in the day. I couldn't afford them out the store. I used to get them from flea markets. So for the most part, a lot of, and now I collect them from friends and all types of places, but flea market pretty much. So as a kid, I did that and then I sold them all. But then years later in the early 2000s, maybe 2010s around something like that, I found like a bag underneath my house and I saw they were like leftover models that were like weird colors or like. Uh, models that people weren't really interested in back in the day like you know instead of the scotty pippins it was like the reggie millers or something with the one air bubble but you know stuff like that had acquired value like if you could especially if you couldn't find them anymore so i was like wow i should have bought everything from the flea market as a kid because i used to remember air maestros going for three dollars and air max going for five you know 95 going for five dollars and stuff and shoot not only remember them here's some evidence of them right here this is not just it right here so some of the stuff that came in boxes got left in boxes some of them might have been mine or if they were brand new you know they didn't get thrown into a bag like this but everything else it just got thrown into a bag just like these lebrons i just pulled out because i'm trying to build a bathroom it's going to take forever and it probably won't happen because heck of hang-ups and hold-ups all the time but i had to see what this pipe was looking like over here and that i don't know if that's really going to help my that, that may have just like derailed my bathroom dreams. But anyway, let's get to the shoes. Because there's heck of shoes here and they're going to get messed up if I don't do something with them. So they do, they will probably have, some of them will have some issues. You know, they are old. They've been laying in the same spot for like a lot, number of years. The environment's cool because it's not hot or anything. But you know, it doesn't really help if you got a bag of shoes laying on you for years. But it, what can you do? They could have been getting hooped in for years and so they could be like that so i got heck of heck of shoes like too many there's probably like 10 there's probably like 10 pairs in every one of these bags and i got lots of bags like someone tried to rob me they couldn't even couldn't even get it all you feel me like <laughs> you could have all we, we you come at night and you feel me it'd be in the morning daytime we still be moving shoes out it's, it's all bad you feel me it'd be such a workout i would just say no i'd be like nah i just just you know just you know no anyway anyway here we go i'm finna just open some bags of shoes because i don't know what's in them and some of them got to come out like those lebrons and so youtube this is a youtube experience some of these you guys are gonna have to say hey take them out those are some hitters you feel me or you know what i'm saying i'm because i might miss them i've been out the shoe game for so long now see this is gonna be all jordans this is scandalous though this is scandalous because all these are some 2013 i think we're gonna get a lot of 2013 year stuff so like this scandalous like yeah them should go but i don't know they're not like a big size you feel me like these aren't the best condition they're already kind of whooped i'm looking for hitters you feel me you know what i'm saying like something that's in good condition that shouldn't be in here like like these i don't know these are probably some weird these are 07 I can't even call it, you feel me? Is that a good pattern on them or what? There go some 23s or something. Out of this bag, I would say these ones are probably look like they're in the best condition. They're size eight. They look pretty good. They probably shouldn't be in here. I mean, they should be, but you know, shouldn't all these be on eBay? They will be soon if I could be. Um, if you see any of these shoes and you like them, please let me know in the comment section or hit my email up in the description. These are size seven. I guess I should be calling out. I can't really do that good of a job here showing them probably. 
I'll try though. Size seven, you know, they're not perfect. We got these, these are size 10, 10 from 07. Everything needs a little love though. You know what I'm saying? They might be falling apart or they might be needing a little propping up. They might have some chipping or something, who knows? It's all, it's like that y'all. This is the inventory right here. Some of this stuff I might get to and clean and put it on eBay, you feel me? But just chime in if you see anything you want or if you think something's worth taking out the bags. These are some low top Air Jordan, size 10 and a half, size 13. These are some size six, 2007 retro sixes. Kind of beat on, but you know, I know people love their shoes. See anything you like, let me know. I might just put this up for pure entertainment value. Six and a half. They got the lace lock. These are, we might see some whooped on shoes here, y'all. I have no idea what shoes we're going to see out of here. Oh, nine, whatever these are. Um, Some flight, something, something weird. All right, so I don't know. Yeah, they might have been ruined when I put them in the bag. You never do know. Some of this stuff didn't look the best when it got thrown in the bag. You know what I'm saying? So we're just gonna have to deal with them like they are. There might be some crack stuff. I don't know. I feel like I should pull those out. I do, these are clean though, but they're already like on their way out. So like, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to save them from any type of, and stuff like this. I mean, I have some of these sizes and models on eBay, right? I mean, yeah, on eBay right now, and they're like less than a hundred dollars. So like, I don't know. The longer you let some of these shoes sit, the better. I think I'm gonna pull those ones out right there though, because those still look like they got life. All right, let's keep doing this, right? People out there, if you like these videos, you wanna see more shoes, you feel me? Let me know. To all my subscribers that are like, where's the Caprice stuff at? Where's the, you know what I'm saying? I bounce around. If it's not metal detecting, I'm working on the Caprice or I'm selling the shoes, I bounce around. Wow. Wow. Oh, I'm talking about wow to these. Someone did a special art project on these. Whoa. This is what we're dealing with here, people. Like, we don't know. I think I got the camera off for that one. See, these, especially back in the day, back in the day, I ought to clean those up and try to fix them. This, this, this model right here is worth heck of money. These Air Jordan Lows right here in this colorway is worth like a lot. But these are completely like destroyed, but you could bring them back lightweight. I bet you could get a lot of this stuff off. It did look like that scuffs and stuff. But still, I mean, I'm, I'm, if my memory serves me correctly, I could tell by the writing on the newspaper in here. It was, uh, it's like Vietnamese or something, right? So I know, already know who I bought these from. And she sold them to me for like a dollar or three dollars or two dollars or something. So they got squashed from the, the bag some, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. So those are worth money, but look at their condition, it's horrible. These are worth money too, lightweight. Probably, I, I can't even call it like that, but because the, the size is small. So I'm not really tripping when I see it. Like these are seven and so those are seven. These though, people, where's the shoe people? Are y'all still out there? I know, like I'm saying, I bounce around from videos to videos. I do metal detecting, I do car stuff, I do shoe stuff, who knows what I'll do. But these, I got to sell all these. I don't have to. I mean, let me take that back. I don't know how to sell any of them. But I don't need any of these either. So these are very special right here. I don't know what happened to them, but that happened to them. So, yeah, let me just show some shoes here. These are cool. They'll just clean up. They're a little dirty. This is what this is what we're dealing with. All these Jordans in here are probably going to be like dirty. If they were heck of clean to start with, they probably never hit the bags. But I can't lie. There are going to be some hitter bags in here. Because some stuff just turns into hitters. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like you would never even think of. We got some 2007 
these look like the 15s. They could be some type of mix or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't remember. We might even come across a fake pair or two. Yeah. So, yeah, let me know, shoe people. I mean, th did I show the people how many pairs? I don't think I should even, like, look at how many bags I got right here. I know it's only, like, five or six. But, like, times that by, like, a lot. Like, as many as your mind can handle. You feel me? Like, I could come with bags and bags and bags. This, uh, this isn't going to stop. Like, I could make this a series of me opening bags. But I would be, otherwise, I would be doing this and not not documenting it anyway. And I kind of need to document it. But I'm saying YouTube, it doesn't really like sell that many shoes for me. Once in a while, someone will see some, but usually people aren't up on like the releases. So like they'll hit me up like 10 years later asking me if I still got stuff for the, for the price I was asking like 20 years ago. You feel me? Like this is why it pays off if you were subscribed. If you were on the shoe game and on my channel and you were subscribed through all the other, <laughs> like all the other stuff I posted, like you're a real one. So we got these six and a half and like for the shoes, like if I clean these up and put them on eBay, I'll get more, you know what I'm saying? But, and I'm going to get whatever they're going for pretty much, you know, but I'm down to like give some type of deals here and there. I'm down to get some deals here and there, but I'm going to pretty much get what they're going for. But, you know, they're all going to have some problems, but if they hit eBay, that means I cleaned them and stuff. Or they're just really whooped on and I just let them go. But how you're seeing them here right now is just how you're seeing them here. Who knows if you hit me up in like six months for something you're seeing here. I don't know where they're going to be at. They could have got cleaned and put on eBay or they could be still in this bag or whatever. But like whatever it's going for on eBay, I'm taking that. Like, you know, if these were going for 100 or 80 on eBay or whatever, then, you know, I, I would be like, yeah, let me get my 80 or 60 or something like that. You know what I'm saying? They're probably not going for that. These are special, though. You feel me? Like, I might clean these up. I don't even know what I'm going to do with these. But someone in the comments could hit me up and be like, yo, let me get them for whatever. Or someone was like, let me get them for like 60. I'll probably, I'll probably let them go. I sound like I hesitated there. Some people might laugh at me, but the game is thick. You feel me? Like, these go for a lot. So, and you can bring these back easily. Not easily, but like a shoe restorer can bring these back lightweight. You feel me? So... But I'm letting stuff go. I'm not even tripping like that. Like, I'll if someone wants some, I'll look up and see what the competition is on them. And I'll probably let stuff go for the low. You feel me? I'm not, I don't want any of these shoes personally. Like, if they're size 11, I'll probably I'll pull them out. But, um, or if they're clean, I'm going to pull them out. Like those, these look like they're ready for eBay almost right now. You feel me? They just got to reform to like not having heck of shoes stuffed on them. And then I'll throw these on eBay for like a hundred or whatever. Whatever they're going for, I'm going to get it. Or I'm going to get close to it. You feel me? All right. But like I'm saying, I'm not attached to any of these, but I'm not going to get ripped off or anything. I'm not going to get, I'm, I'm going to get my money back. We're going to do what we do here like this. Fresh barn fine type. These are barn fine type shoes before it was a thing. What would they call that? Bag bag fine shoes. Under house shoes. So these look like they're something. I know I'm all on the couch with nastiness. This couch, y'all have seen, it's been through it with the shoe game. Um, no tag. Alright. That one has like a little bit of something on it. It's that it has like velvet felt. I don't even know. I'm not good with the materials. I should probably put this. Let me put this camera back on my head. I'm looking for a size tag here. It looks to have come out. They look real though. They're big. They're they're at least a 13 or something. Some of them. Oh, there you go. Size 13. See. They need a cleaning. Who knows? They could be falling apart. Who knows? okay them shocks are coming out though no for you the shocks are coming out no can do to the bag i'll make an executive decision here and pulling these shocks out of this bag right here they're gonna get a nike box these look to be some vince carters 
don't know what year model or make any of that oh look at the tag mike 04 12 18 04 so like 05 size 13 shocks i know the shocks have gone up in value yeah flight they say 15 on them so is that vince carter I forget what team. These look like a Portland Trailblazer color. I, I can't remember, you know, what teams he played for. I don't know if he played for them or not, though. That would be deep career type action. All right. Ooh, these look. I don't. I don't like. I don't particularly like this model right here. But they look clean for this model. For, let me make sure they're real first. I know they. This was like the years of the fakes right here. Oh yeah, that's real. That tags heck a week. It's coming off already. It's a nine and a half. They're real. Look at that patent leather shining on them. All right, back here. This this type of paint might crack. Like something like this, I wouldn't attempt to clean these at all. I mean, probably the patent leather I clean up a little bit. I wouldn't clean those at all. Back in the day. I used to take stuff to the scrub brush, you know what I'm saying? Back in the 90s, it was scrub brush and Dawn soap all up in the, or whoever soap. I don't even know if it's Dawn, but some type of dish soap. You feel me? I'll bet those pairs probably didn't make it. Sometimes I'll hit, I definitely hit some stuff up with the scrub brush too. It just, just depends on the shoe, the year, the material, and everything you're dealing with. But one thing I definitely say don't ever do is throw your shoes in the washing machine that's in my opinion that's the worst thing you could do it bangs them up and it gets water all up in there in places that'll never dry and what it does is just make the 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 sole will separate from the shoe everything will start separating if you ever see someone throw their shoe in a washing machine that's not the ticket not in my opinion not at all it takes more use elbow grease and real effort to clean a washing machine is not going to do anything except for get it completely soaking wet and then tumble it around. You know what I'm saying? And then people throw stuff in the dryer and that just melts the glue. It's all bad. So, like, yeah, this is a whole shoe game lesson. I've been in the shoe game heck along, y'all. Like, I, when I look, first looked on eBay, there was 13 items for Air Jordans. This was, like, 1998. I was one of the first people on there. I swear, like, I looked for Air Jordan. And only 13 items came up and only a couple of them were shoes you feel me it was like some air jordan shorts or like an air jordan tank top maybe some air jordan ones on some random on some randomness though for real i was back there back in the day you can't see me U C A N T C M E on ebay that's my name it's been that since 1998 and it's for tupac not John Cena, but I, I'm, I'm not mad at John Cena, though, you feel me? But people, sometimes people hit me up, and they'll be like, yeah, I'm a John Cena fan. I'm like, I feel you. But I did it for Tupac, but you feel me? But shout out to everyone. I'm not mad. These got to stay out. You feel me? So, yeah, you could definitely see a bunch of shoes and car parts on my YouTube if you're seeing this. I mean, on my eBay. I've been rocking since 98. I don't have time to, like, wait sometimes, and this stuff just gets put on ebay i just pay them their fees i get taxed it's tax and get taxed you feel me but hit me up on the email if you like really want like some type of deal or something okay these are these are reeboks okay dang oh what them things are looking saucy these are all my shoes i didn't let them go no way these are my shoes i let them go too early what heck no i mean they're okay all right those are my shoes good these are it's always good to find a bag of my shoes because that takes uh, that takes a bag out of the mix i can do other things with my shoes i didn't whoop those as bad as i whipped some of my other reeboks those still got some life left in them for whipping you feel me all right let's get on it shout out to everyone watching i got more bags of shoes if people want to see this you know let me know sorry to all my fans not fans first of all sorry for that i know it's it's a fam you feel me shout out to everyone that subscribes though you feel me these don't match these don't even match that's how the game goes y'all those aren't even matching see 
look at these right here but no shout out to everyone out there you feel me if you want to see some more shoes then let me know and sorry to everyone who wants metal detecting capri stuff or something else i'm just doing the shoe stuff right now at the moment but i guarantee i have videos on the way that involve metal detecting and working on my caprice and and so much other random stuff like building a bathroom or my attempts at it you just never know what you're gonna get all right i remember these these that's scandalous. These are some air air penny twos. The price is up on these once they get cleaned. But look, a dog had its way with that one. That's not right. At least one of them's clean. Oh, it's not clean, but it hasn't been ate by a dog. Um, yeah, those um, yeah, those are going to be staying in the bag, I think. But you never know what you're going to get. If I remember correctly, I paid a dollar for these. Or three dollars. I paid something. It was like, what? That's still, that's still my. <laughs> Shout out myself, though. You feel me? I paid a dollar. I said it like it was a good deal. Shoe people are going to be like, yeah, okay, a dollar. That's what's up. But even still, you got to be kind of an artistic type person or. Like, I'm thinking outside the box. I'm like, oh, well, someone's going to want that one shoe. You feel me? Or, you know, for an art project or they wanted to get their repair on. You could repair that. You know what I'm saying? I don't have the skill, really, but they're not even that bad. Like, you could actually wear them. You could still wear these and no one would notice. You might have to... You might have to get a cut. You might have to cut some of this material off, though. You might notice. But I'm not going to lie, you wouldn't really notice. If you cut all this excess material off, you would notice a little bit, but they just look worn. You feel me? But anyway, I, I bought those for like a dollar. I, I, want, I wanted to do videos like, like buying stuff from the flea market to show people like the price. Of, you know what I'm saying? But it, you can't walk around with a camera. You feel me? There's some places where it's like, nah, I'm not walking around with no camera. Because then people are like, are you the cops? Like Laney, you know, it's got a, it was a, who knows with there. That's open California. Here's some, here's some, um, Jordans. I feel like these are Oreo or something. 2000, 2009. Oh, they're popping. Them things are popping. <laughs> what happened i don't know if y'all can even see that they're bubbling though the bottom shits are done those that, those would be the ones that oh wow wow look at the little acgs though on them that's crazy the real the little price there's still a price tag on it i think these are nah someone put their own price tag on it but look $3.99. I don't think I paid that, but I could have. Them are lightweight saucy, though. See? Man, someone out. Look how old these are, though. Look at the tag on that. 90. No. Yeah, 94, I think. Six and a half ACGs. Like, sometimes they get this old. I can't recommend wearing them or what's going to happen. But, like, these, when I see these, I'm like, I got to put these on, like, I gotta put these on eBay or YouTube. They're for the YouTube, but see, when I do the single videos, I get way more hits. Like if I put whatever these are, ACG boots, and then cut this video up, it would get hits on its own. But I don't really have time to do that, so I'm just probably gonna put all these shoes at once. Maybe we'll get that sometime. Those go hard though. I'm not even gonna lie. I should probably I should probably put those on eBay. Because they're so old, they I don't feel comfortable with them being in like banging up against other shoes. You feel me? They're they're too old to still be out there banging. These ones are banged out though. I mean, every one of these, even when they got defects, people are gonna want them for like repair or what, whatever. I don't know what people do with their shoes, but I'm saying I feel like another one of these got ate by something. These are like mismatched, but there might they might have just sometimes they fall out of the bag. 
And that's what happened. I think these are some Spiz Ikes. And they're in a bag that doesn't want to come loose. And I don't want to rip the bag because it's not even that serious. Is it? It's not. The bag's not that serious, but it's like, come on. I did it. I ripped the bag. There's these always have the tag missing. Yeah, this is some cheap years for Nike, I'm not gonna lie. Mm-hmm. No tag. I guess like a 13 or something. No tag, no tag, no tag. No tag. Good for you, Nike. That glue was heck of weak. These are like a 13, some spizikes, right? Like I say, when I get to them, I don't even know. I wouldn't I would avoid cleaning these pretty good. I might I might clean here with like a little rag and a little soap or something just to try to get a little bit off. But this area wouldn't even try to clean that paint painted stuff or nothing. Nah. But that's what I used to do back in the day. Clean them and put them on eBay. But this go round that you're seeing right here, this was me just collecting shoes. That's a 15, so. I think that's a Spizike too. That's a big something, 15. But where's your mat chat? Who knows? We got another pair of something back here. These are some Jordans. They look like some Jordan 5s. What size are we dealing with here? Okay, size 10. Okay, that's almost, those almost maybe shouldn't be in the bag. They're not in the best condition. They're on a, they're a 2008. Yeah, I'm probably gonna pull those out. They're not the best condition, but at the same time, they're a big, good enough size. If they sit in there any longer, it's not really gonna be helpful, probably. I don't wanna clean these at all. But at least, man, they probably need a box or something, you feel me? Some of them don't. Some of them are going back. Them Sixers are going back. Them Sixers are going back. That's terrible. These pennies are going back. These pennies are going to last. Those are going to be trash for a while. Those were some size 11 and a half pennies if anyone's interested. I'm still like, I know I said I bought them for a dollar and that a dog ate them, but I'll still put those on, on eBay right now and get like $80. I'm not playing. Whoa, don't slam the shoes down that hard. All right, let's get another bag in this thing. So. Oh. Oh. See, sometimes you got problems. I knew there were Dion's in here. That air bubble. Why do I ask? got press on it right away? It's still active. That's how you break it right away. That's 07. I feel like those Dion's need to come out because that air bubble and the size, the size and the air bubble. They got a little bit of mold going for them. They're all right. They'll be all right. Don't worry. That's how most shoes are before you bought them. Those are clean. Those are like brand new. Those go hard. A lot of these go hard right here. What are these? There's a Jordan's face on them. What are those? I don't know about those. I'm going to go ahead and say I haven't seen too many of those right there. That's what I'm saying. This, those are some Spiz Ikes. Those might be worth money. I'm not a fan of the Spiz Ikes, though, so I can't really even call it. There's some little Jordans in here. Okay, okay. I feel like those little Jordans can all stay together. These are very interesting right here. I don't know. I don't think I've seen those in a while. Oh, all right. Size 10. Oh, look, they'll stay. 
I think I'm just gonna get rid of all these shoes. If, if they come out this, if they, oh my goodness. Oh, it's heavy. If they're coming out of this area, I'm gonna try to get rid of them, I guess. At least we're gonna pull out some good ones. These look nice. 6Y. <sighs> I'm, this is gonna take me a few go-throughs to get everything out that needs to get out. What? Those look like, I thought those were the Seattle color ones for a second. What? That's what I'm saying. There's so many shoes in here. Oh, I don't trust the nine midsoles being anywhere. I think I need to pull out every pair of nines that I can find because I'm thinking, oh, oh. Oh, nothing beneficial about keeping your shoes like in bags like this. This is the start of me getting rid of them because I don't want them to all get destroyed like this. You feel me? Some of them were already there though. Nike SB. Like these, I don't know. <laughs> That's scandalous because these go for money. There's nothing I could do about that. And it's lightweight. It's lightweight, not my fault, even though it is. But it's lightweight, not my fault because, like, the material was so cheap. You know what I'm saying? Like, not every one of these pairs fell apart, as you can see. And a lot of them, and what year are those from? Yeah, there's not much I could do here. It's pretty sad, but a lot of these look trash when I got them, so. That's the shoe game, y'all. I'm going to try to pull out some good pairs that I feel are salvageable. I got a bunch of like Air Jordan 5s that are in good condition. I'll just throw them on eBay. I'll see what they are and throw them on eBay. I know there's still stuff in here that's worth money. I do. Damn, these are probably worth money now too. I mean, I'm sure they are. They need some type of cleaning. Some of this, I'm blaming this pair. This pair got nasty on the rest of them. Well, they're falling apart. Those ones I'll put up just like they are. So that's why I'm in, that's why I'm doing this here. I can't grab every pair out. But please, if, if you're seeing this and you're seeing something you want or, or something like I shouldn't be leaving in the bag for sure, let me know. Oh man. I think those were mine. All right, I think we got one more bag here. One more bag. And I'm gonna just do what I can. Like I can already see these, they don't belong in here. Them are hecka nice, 2011, wow. They probably weren't worth much when I put them in here though, but I know the air bubbles and midsoles go bad on those. So those, are lucky that they didn't fall apart. But I don't know if I said it before, but like I probably did. No matter what the condition is on these, you know, I was like, I know that they're gonna be worth more. Ooh, these guys have come out. I bet these are worth more now. When I bought these, these weren't worth that much. But now I bet they're worth a lot. There's, there's gonna be some in there like that, like Ken Griffey Jr., Charles Barkley, Deion Sanders. There's gonna be some shoes in there like that that I'm not even knowing. Like I gotta do my research. These are very nice though. So, these size 13, I have no idea at the moment what stuff is. 
if it's looking like it's whooped at all it's just gonna stay in there some you know what i'm saying they don't look they don't look like some of these don't look whoop but they don't look like they need saving at the moment but these do probably because these are 09 that's got like a logo on it like they belong to some team or something i really don't know you, you never do know so what i'm probably gonna do is i don't even know <laughs> good analysis mike with these like kds or something uh no lebron so yeah i know there's something in here good i think that's all the bags i got for now i now i gotta like do something with these ones out that's been like 36 minutes of shoes well i hope the people out there enjoyed this video my hands are dirty um yeah it's, it's hard to deal with so that's why they just sat underneath the house but you know i could put a few on ebay that's i do that so i could get i could see myself getting like five or ten pairs of these on ebay for sale some of them need light cleaning some don't really need any at all some are completely trashed so i'll just i'll just take a picture of them just like that so that's how we're gonna do it I'll put this video up as well too so people can see shoes yeah that's crazy i just wear i just wear a reebok now yeah i'm not into paying heck of money for shoes anymore but all these are worth some even these these right here if these were if these were in great condition like brand new these would be like hundreds of dollars but this is this year that they came out was cheap you know what i'm saying i have a pair of these that's in good condition and the same thing happened so yeah someone will probably repair these or use these to repair something or some type of project or do something with it so yeah they yeah they weren't the best when they got thrown in there so that's why i got to go through this stuff because i hate to see stuff get destroyed like that but actually not not too much stuff is that bad i mean some of it's expected like like there's a pair of air jordan nines i pulled out right the midsole is pretty weak on them like you can see that part right there bro a person may be able to wear these or not i don't know i would show it in the ad and yeah that's to say you know at your own risk for collectors only people in the shoe game know what's going on by now though so anyway yeah more shoes than i need to deal with right now but yeah there it is you guys want more shoe videos let me know yay or nay you feel me? All right, we'll be back. Peace. All right, Mike, here we go. Back in the house. I just was messing with a bunch of shoes. And then I was like, you know what? I got to do something with them. They can't just sit in those boxes anymore. I mean, in those bags anymore. So I got them in boxes, some of them at least. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 16 pairs in boxes all right so yeah that's a lot of boxes but at least i guess i could throw them back underneath the house if i had to but i'm gonna try to get rid of everything i'm also marking them too i'm not doing the best job but it's getting better as i'm going along i guess and also i'm recording this because i'm just like you know youtube does pay people people do get paid off youtube accounts it's not my main objective but the more i do it the more i'm just like i should be recording a lot of stuff and just putting it up so i apologize if anyone doesn't like these shoe videos or whatever i'm doing but it, at the end of the day as i say you know or at the beginning of the day or middle of the day whatever time of the day or whatever day it is this is what i'm doing and i can record it and it serves a dual purpose it can provide me income on youtube in the future but I, like i said it's not really i'm not really concerned with that but i do realize sometimes that i'm doing something that people would say that's youtube footage All right so yeah this is youtube footage pretty much boxing up shoes it might not be the best so yeah if you don't want to watch it i feel you i do i feel that 
but this is what I'm doing right here. Setting up some boxes and going back through these some of these shoes because there's some in here that shouldn't be in here a lot of them probably shouldn't be in there like this right here they do have some problems but we can isolate the problems on each individual pair once I end once I isolate into each individual pair so yeah hopefully that made sense and you guys can see me try to do that which <laughs> I swear I hate I hate it I always I always mess up the first time usually I don't know why but I find it difficult AJ 12 orange something give me something AJ 12 AJ 12 orange so yeah like I said you want to watch this I understand I mean I don't understand if you don't want to watch this I definitely understand but this is what I'm doing so let's get paid here you know can I get paid I mean, sometimes I watch stuff on YouTube and I'm not really watching. I'll just put it on in the background. I could see a person boxing up shoes being something that's on in the background. You know what I'm saying? I'll put metal detecting on in the background. Sometimes I don't watch. I'll be like working on a car or like a car part or some type of project. Air Jordan 10. I think those were Orlando. But they looked like uh they looked like that a Seattle bottom though. If you don't understand shoes, you're gonna say, what is this one talking about? Oakland waist with LA face with an Oakland waist. I think that's what they said. Yeah, they definitely don't say it the other way around. Scandalous what? All right, I mean, sometimes they might. Anyway, don't mind me. Living out here in the town for too long. So, I'm trying to get all these shoes somewhere, except for these. I don't know what these are. What are those? Bricks and a new balance. I'm saying sometimes, sometimes random shoes just ended up. Oh, there is a match. Dang, that New Balance has a match. That, that goes hard, actually. Sometimes the New Balances go hard. We're not really looking for the New Balances at the moment. I'm more like looking at... Okay, these are SBs. Like, I'm going to put all of these. Okay. We're missing a Brooks. Brooks was here. All right. All right. Those go hard lightweight, though. Sometimes those new balances are worth money. But right now, I'm just focusing on what I know. And that's like Air Jordan. And I'm just trying to dwindle down. I'm just trying to dwindle down some of these um, bags. Like, I'm trying to go from like five bags to like one bag. You feel me? Yeah. Those are... There's those air paintings again. Maybe I got most of the good stuff out of here. Yeah. Those aren't bad. I think those low top, those low top Jordans aren't bad. I feel like I should get, get these. I'll get those out too. I mean, we're getting most of these out, but these, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna put those in a box right now. See, bags on top of bags. It can't be like that. So these are bags I already opened. But I'm not sure what I'm doing when it comes to these videos. And in the future, like the next bags I open, I'm going to 
put, be putting them straight into the boxes. They're not going back into bags. Those are going into a box because some of these fit. Some of these fit into boxes. I don't know what happened. They get so deformed when they're like, oh, what's in there? Wow. Some nail polish in there. You just never know what you're going to get with these shoes. There's some glittery nail polish for the people. All right. These I'm going to put into a... Wow, they really had them on deformed mode. All right. And then these are all going to sit by themselves again. And they're going to reform into being shoes. Sometimes they're like mashed together pretty hard. These go hard right here though. I mean, they don't, they do, but they don't. They're my size though, kind of. Actually, they're all, not really, but almost. Yeah, these, like these, these are too nice a condition to be sitting out. They're not the best, I don't think they're the best model of Jordan. That's all right. Oh yeah, oh yeah, all these are going into shoe boxes. Yeah, so that's how we're gonna make we're gonna dwindle some of these down. I'm gonna have heck of boxes around here, but that's alright. So yeah, this is what I'm doing right now, so I am recording it. I don't know if I should be or not. Sometimes I feel like I'm wasting footage. Um, yeah, it's hard not to feel that way. But people love their shoes out there. I mean, it won't be necessarily wasted footage when I'm opening boxes that you haven't seen me open yet, but you guys already saw me open these bags. But that's just an update on what I'm doing. I just wanted to say, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I have extreme trouble with this. Oh my goodness, see, I missed it again. I swear I'm not the only one. I do it like twice to get it right. AJ10, white, red. Mm -hmm. I had a Sharpie, but it was too big. When I send out these shoes later, I don't want it to be like, hey, Air Jordan in the box. So that's what's going on here. And I don't feel, I'm really feeling like I should turn the camera off. So here's a bunch of shoes because I have so much footage on my computer that I've never uploaded to YouTube. And it's just, it's almost a waste. So, that's why if you see this on there, and just know it's just because I couldn't handle having any more footage on my computer that I wasn't using. AJ10, crappy. AJ10, can't, can't at all right. Why do I keep putting a zero first? AJ10, good enough. In a rush. All right, I'm turning this off. That's what we're doing. I'll probably turn it on when I have like a million boxes of shoes here. All right, well, there's a number of boxes. Three, six, nine, 10, 13, 15, 17, 20. 23 25 boxes some more there's some more that i filled up with i had some real nike boxes and some that didn't make it to boxes yet and yeah some that are in bags still like those right there and those so yeah and we got some empty bags so i guess that's uh probably the end of this video so yeah, I'm gonna have to get some more boxes from the post office. One by one, each of these is gonna go on eBay. Already a couple pairs are on eBay. These are on there right now. Those got to go. Anyway, we'll be back with another video. Yep, yeah, peace.